Hello dear students welcome to Bio Vidyalaya today i am coming with a small topic from neat syllabus that is double fertilization in plants double fertilization we know that fertilization means it is the fusion of female gametes with male gametes here this double fertilization we know that double means two this double fertilization is present in angiosperms angiosperms means flowering plants so double fertilization is a complex fertilization mechanism of flowering plants first i will explain the concept then we can see this explanations okay we know that pollination is occurring with the help of pollinating agents like birds insect wind etc so during pollination pollen grains will deposited on stigma stigma is the part of female reproductive system here you can see that pollen grain is deposited on stigma and this pollen grains containing two cells generative cell and tube cell generative cell and tube cell and this tube cell will develop into pollen tube here you can see that this yellow color one is pollen tube and this generative cell divide into two sperm cell and this two sperm cell move towards ovule here you can see that ovule okay these are ovule move uh, this sperm cell move towards ovule via this pollen tube and it will enter inside this ovule uh, through this micropylar end okay see here you can see that this is ovule embryo sac of the ovule embryo sac is present inside the ovule in the embryo sac eight cells are present which are that eight cells three antipodes three antipodes and uh, two polar cell at the center and two synergies two synergies and uh, one egg cell okay so eight cells are present inside the embryo sac and pollen tube is enter into the ovule three, uh, through this microphylar end through this microphylar end okay here you can see that there is a thickening called the filiform apparatus is present in this synergies and this filiform apparatus guides pollen tube into the synergies through this synergies only sperm cell that how many sperm cell two sperm cell is entering into the embryo sac okay so out of this two sperm cell one sperm cell fuses with embryo uh, egg cell one one sperm cell fuses with egg okay to form zygote what is the ploidy n here n so 2n so zygote is diploid so one sperm cell fuses with the egg cell to form zygote a diploid zygote and this process is known as syngamy syngamy okay and the other sperm cell the other sperm cell that will fuse with this two polar cell to form a triploid cell two polar cell two polar cell plus sperm to form a triploid cell triploid cell means 3n okay and this process is known as triploid fusion triploid fusion okay so this 
syngamy and triploid fusion together known as double fertilization okay so two for fertilization triploid fusion and syngamy together known as double fertilization and this zygote will develop into embryo and this um, triploid cell that will develop into endosperm endosperm will nourish the developing embryo so first endosperm will develop after that embryo will develop okay so one of the sperm fertilizes the egg to form diploid zygote the other sperm fertilizes two polar nuclei to form triploid endosperm which will become a food source for the growing embryo okay so double fertilization involves the joining of a female gamete that means embryo sac with two male gamete that means sperm of the two sperm cells one sperm fertilizes the egg cell forming a diploid zygote this process is called syngamy the other sperm fuses with the two polar nuclei forming a triploid cell that is known as triploid fusion that develop into endosperm together these two fertilization events in angiosperms are known as double fertilization so syngamy and triploid fusion together known as double fertilization if you like this video and find it helpful then please click the like button share this video with your friends and also don't forget to check whether you subscribe this channel or not if you didn't subscribe then please subscribe right now and turn the bell icon to all keep learning thank you